everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I am bringing you another grocery haul. I went to Kroger today. Well, actually I didn't go to Kroger. Well, I went to Kroger. <laughs> Let's back up here. I did a gro Kroger grocery pickup and I placed my order online and then swung by there after work and picked up my groceries. Sorry if you're hearing the rattling. I'll, let me just put, I'll put something here and show you what's going on. Those two totally cracked me out. Anytime I get a new bag from Kroger or you know just another paper bag, I always toss it and let them play in it, and they actually they love it. They they play with it till they destroy it. And one of them is currently chewing it and pulling it apart. So if they keep this up, I'll well, maybe I'll have to take their toy away. All right. So with that said, I'm gonna um, show you what I have. Show you the smart points. I am doing the purple plan. I've been on the purple plan. I want to say for a month now. Um, have I 100% been following it? Nope. I have not. The holidays hit, and as much as I would like to say that I'm being the perfect role model, hopefully this week will begin my back on track, back eating totally on plan. Hopefully. <sighs> Crossing my fingers. All right, so let me turn you around, show you what I have, and then we'll go from there and see where this goes. Okay, so I picked up some Southern Style Hash Brown Diced Potatoes. Those are zero smart points on the purple plan, um, just as a reminder. And I wanted to grab these because I wanted to see how well these worked in my air fryer. So super excited to give these a try. I grabbed some of this three pepper and onion blend. I need peppers and onions all the time, so I wanted to grab one of these to see how they were cut, how they look, to see if maybe I can use it for things like fajitas. I'm hoping they're like a fajita cut because that they are bonus. I grabbed some green onions because I need those for a recipe. Red onion. I have two limes, one lemon, two oranges, and some yellow onions that I needed. And then I also grabbed some cubes. So I think that's it for fruits and veggies. All right, so then I ran out of this tang. I like to have this in the morning sometimes. Zero smart points on all plans. I really like this. The next thing that I grabbed was some unsweetened applesauce. And this is zero smart points. This is zero smart points, I think, on all three plans. Um, I'll try, like I said, I'll try to continue to give you these points as long as I can remember them. Um, but... I am following the purple plan, so I think what I'm going to do is just continue to give you the purple plan points again because it's going to be easier for me to focus on current plan versus trying to keep all three plans in my head, which is kind of difficult sometimes. I grabbed some of the sugar-free barbecue sauce. This is the G Hughes. This is zero smart points, and the serving size on this is two tablespoons, so that's going to be really cool. Um, I do have a new recipe coming up that I want to give a try, and I needed the barbecue sauce for that. Now, the next thing that I have here is some sugar-free Italian sweet cream coffee creamer. And I want to give a shout out to Amanda over at Twitter Pated Mama, I think is how you pronounce her channel. And actually, she is the one that turned me on to this, so I'm super excited to give this a try. And a look at these stats. And this should be the stats in all three programs. So per tablespoon, it's one tablespoon equals zero, three tablespoons equal one, and five tablespoons equal two. So super excited to give this a try. I love this Italian sweet cream. Did not know that it came in a sugar-free version, so bonus, super excited. I needed some spices, so I have some chives, and I also needed celery flakes. So stay tuned, I'll show you what I'm using those for later. Grabbed a couple of cans of green beans just because I like to have those just for my lunches. Okay, so on my other counter, I have some ground chicken, and that is four ounces for four smart points. Ketchup, it's one tablespoon. One tablespoon, one smart point. I needed some sweet relish. That, again, is one tablespoon, one smart point. 
I needed an avocado, and I think that's three smart points for three ounces. I think is how that one goes. Um, in this case, it's a, it's a small avocado. I think it's going to be like half the avocado, but we'll see. I'll measure it out. My husband needed some bagels, and just in case you were wondering, these Kroger plain pre-sliced bagels are six smart points. Picked up an extra loaf of bread. This hillbilly bread, really good. Um, it is two points for one slice. I'm sorry. Two points. Yep, yeah, two points for one slice, three points for two slices. I had to think about that one. So this one is, is really, really good. If you haven't tried that and they have it in your area, give that one a try. Now, I picked up some center cut bacon, and this is two smart points for, are you guys ready for this? Let's read this. Two skillet cook slices. Have you guys ever seen that before? And I'm going to show you a copy of my tracker here. It's just really funny that the tracker even says the abbreviation for skillet cooked. I've never seen that before. Let me know in the comments if you've seen that before. I needed to grab some ham cubes, and this is one smart point for two ounces or 10 smart points for the entire package. And I needed that for a breakfast recipe that I'm trying. Picked up some jambalaya, and if I'm saying that wrong, that's okay. Super excited, I love jambalaya, and I'm gonna make this up. This is four smart points for one quarter cup of dry mix, it um, serves five. So I'm gonna throw some chicken and some shrimp and I have some, I think chicken sausage that I'm gonna throw in it. So I'm gonna have that for dinner or lunches or I have no idea, but I'm gonna have it and enjoy it. So not bad, four smart points plus the whatever else meat I put in it. I needed some hot pepper blend cheese and I can't remember what recipe that's for, but that is four smart points for a quarter cup. I needed some biscuits for, again, one of my breakfast recipes. Seven smart points for three biscuits. Hamburger buns, just the regular Kroger brand, and these are four smart points. We're going to have um, buffalo chicken sandwiches on those. So if you've not tried the buffalo chicken sandwiches, so good. I think I have that recipe on my channel. If I don't, I will film that one. Um, I think that one's going to be done either in the crock. I think it's going to be done in the crock pot. So stay tuned for that one. Pop was on sale. So I went ahead and grabbed three, two liters of pop. We like to have pop at our house and some macaroni and cheese because I have been slacking and I ran out of macaroni and cheese. So I had to get that in the house for the grandbabies. I needed some tortilla chips to go with our salsa. And this is, I think five smart points per serving. And one serving is about nine chips. So those are pretty good. The Kroger brand chips are really good if you haven't tried those. Now, I did pick up one more thing, which I was super excited. Didn't even know these existed. Check these out. They are called Tasty Shakes Oatmeal Mix-Ins. So I have an apples and cinnamon and a maple and brown sugar. So I will let you know when I try these. But they're only 10 calories per serving, I think. Um, I'll have to scan these. Um, I didn't, with 10 calories, I didn't think they would come out to be any, and I thought they'd be zero smart points, so I'm not gonna, not gonna scan them right now, but I'll scan them, and if they're, if they're not zero, I'll put, I'll put um, the points in for each of these. I'm sure, pretty sure they're gonna be the same, but that's exciting. Um, I love maple and brown sugar. I don't know how to get mine with that flavoring, with the low points. I'm sure I could probably use pancake syrup. Not sure, but I'm going to give these a try. And these were on sale at Kroger's. So super excited to give those a try. So that is my grocery haul. Um, I think we're going to have the, and this is, this is my menu for next week. I think we're going to have spaghetti. We're going to have the buffalo chicken sandwiches. We may have those this week. They sound really good. I don't know what else we're going to have, but um, I'm hoping to cook at least five days next week. So wish me luck on that. Um, I'll keep you, I'll keep you 
post it on my what I ate today and let you know how well I did on that challenge. So with that said, I'm going to sign off from here. Thanks for watching. And again, always leave some comments below. Give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I think we have a lot of fun over here. All right. So with that said, see you later. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.